everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swoosh. I wanted to review this chart here of SPY. And I'll tell you, you know, we really didn't go anywhere this whole week. I discussed this this morning on Fox News. This was really a nothing burger week for the market. And considering the huge sell-off that we had last week, I really think that the market could have looked a lot worse than it did, put it that way. No, we really didn't get all the way full on through. 55% uh, or really ideally 80% of that drop off of the sell off, at least in the, in the SPY. But we started the rally then with some negative news. We just couldn't keep it going. But it doesn't mean the market isn't going to follow through. Will we follow through this week? I don't know. I mean, I'm telling you right now, I don't know. But I do know there's two huge earnings out Thursday night. It's a couple days away. Okay, so we have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday to trade. But with the anticipation of the Google and Amazon reports out, Thursday night, it, it would be hard pressed for me to believe that both those reports would fail. So again, I don't know what they do in earnings, but I'm telling you that those are major stocks in the market. And if they report well, then they will probably move the market higher this week. Where we go between Monday and Thursday night, though, it remains to be seen. But I wouldn't be surprised if we made an attempt at a rally this week before that. In other words, if we gap up on Monday morning, we could very well rally. But a lot of people are concerned this market could slip off again. Could it? Sure. Anything could happen. Could get up in the morning with a huge gap down in the market. Market could sell off even more. But I'm telling you that overall, we're still so far away from breaking the trend, the bullish uptrend in the market, that even if we would sell off again, even if we would drop more, we're not going to change trends here in the market. We're going to hold the uptrend. So I just want don't want every, everyone to panic uh, looking at this here because we could have looked a lot worse after the sell-off from the past week than we did this week. So let's just look, let's just be exact because I do like to be exact if we can. So Monday was, do, 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 do. actually Monday we opened at 275.55, so we did have a small gain. We still, we did have a small gain in the week. If you, you want to be technical about it, we had a small gain in the week after the drop-off, but I mean, the way I was looking at it was we were trading in this range. So we were in this range for most of the week. So good luck everyone this week. It's earnings season. If you're interested in learning how I read charts, if you're interested in learning what I know, how to read charts based on stocks gapping, it's the way that I will review a chart and predict where it's gonna go. It's based on technical analysis and gaps, not just moving averages and not just support and resistance and not just normal technical analysis rules. I look at something very specific that I created 10 years ago I look at the gaps. I look at every gap that's in this chart and any chart that I would analyze to predict where it's going to go when it gaps. If you have more questions or information, email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. The next Golden Gap class is November 3rd and 4th, and the Trends class is coming up Monday. If you want to learn how to read long-term trends in the stock market, specifically if you're doing options trades or if you're doing swing trades, it's very important, very important to understand what the trend is in something. And in this overall market, we're holding the uptrend. And even if we break, and even if we break below from the 11th in the market, we're still going to be in an uptrend. So if you'd like to learn more, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com.